In this video, we're going to set up another JSS website on top of our existing Next.js app. To do that, we need to open PowerShell in administrator mode and navigate to the root of our solution. Then we're simply going to run npx create sitecore JSS and then you want to specify which framework you would like to use, such as Vue, React, or Angular. For this example, I'm going to use Vue. Now we've hit enter. Where would you like to uh, create the new app? Um, I'm going to place it, yeah, just in the view folder. Um, where it is. Actually, let's see where our Next.js application is. Our Next.js application is in source and then rendering. So perhaps I'll include the view folder in, in, in source as well. So I'm just gonna copy the path and paste it if it allows me. There we go. Um, then I'll name the folder view. Hit enter. What is the name of your app? Sitecore JSS app is fine. Uh, this is local host name. We don't have to worry about this for now. And then you want to choose how to fetch out layout and dictionary layout and dictionary data. Um, again, if you need to run the JSS application in disconnected mode, separate from Sitecore, you will need to go with REST. Uh, as GraphQL can only be run in connected mode. Uh, but for our scenario, we will be doing that. So GraphQL um, is our preferred choice. And then in additional languages, I'll just hit enter. Now we just need to wait for the JSS app to be downloaded and installed. Okay, now we have Vue.js installed. We're going to navigate to the folder, which is source view. And we're gonna follow the next step. Um, first of all, JSS setup. This is going to allow us to connect to Sitecore. So let's do that. Is your instance on this machine or accessible via network share? Yes. Then pass to the Sitecore folder. So if we look at how our next JS is set up under rendering and SKJS as config, we're going to see the instance path is back in our solution root, then within the Docker deploy and platform folder. So we're going to do the same for our view app. Okay, so we're just using the same instance path. Gonna hit enter. Sitecore hostname, that will be the hostname for our CM server. So I'm just gonna paste that. Import service URL, again, is the hostname plus 
<coughs> some additional um, path on the on the URL string, which is Sitecore API API JSS import. I'm just gonna hit enter. Sitecore API key. This is the API key in under our system. So system settings services API keys. So this is the our API key. Okay. Um, as you can see, it is the same as the one here. So we're just gonna paste that. Whoops. Didn't copy it correctly. <coughs> you could have a separate API key for each site, um, but for this demo, we're just gonna use the same item. And uh, hitting enter, then deployment secret. I'll let it auto generate one, so just hit enter. Okay, now what we want to do is deploy our config. So we're going to type JSS deploy config. This was successful. Next, we're going to deploy our app. So JSS deploy app dash C dash D and hit enter. And this is going to deploy our application under the content item. We should be able to see our view site in a second, but we're getting unexpected response from import service. Now, this is related to the node certificates. We were warned. We were warned about this in the initialized script, I believe. When the initialized script finished running, there was a message saying to avoid HTTPS errors, set node extra CI certs environmental variable and we were given a command. So we want to do that, but first we have to navigate to C users. So the path is C users, your Windows user update local MK cert is the path. So we're going to use this path and run a command to amend the environmental variable. So I'll just run this command in PowerShell. Great, and now I'm going to try again to run JSS deploy app. That's quite strange. So after changing the environmental variable, uh, it's worth restarting your PowerShell console, but that's still throwing um, unexpected response from import servers unable to verify the first certificate. And that might be because We are running our app on HTTPS. So what we could try to do is have our command JSS deploy app 
dash c dash d and then add accept certificate and then just type anything such as test and um, this should fail because we haven't set the SSL certificate to have a thumbprint um, with the correct value so from from the error message we're gonna copy the value of the thumbprint and we're gonna run the same command but now we're gonna replace test with the value we got in the error message and we're gonna hit enter and we're still getting the 404 not found Huh. What do you know? Uh, clear console. I wonder if that's because we don't have node installed on the CM server just yet. So for Node.js we have a special container for the rendering host which is our Sidecore 10 headless rendering container. This is where Node is installed but this is very specific to Next.js setup. For all the other JSS applications we are going to run the rendering host on the CM container or possibly on a CD container if you have one. I don't have the CD container as I'm running an XP0 instance of Sidecore. So I'm just going to try and install Node on the CM container. Now, how can we do that? Best way is to just do it in the Docker file. So if we go to the root of our solution, then docker, build, and cm, open the docker file, and at the bottom, we're going to try and set up Node.js installation. So we can type run curl.exe and then where we would like to install <coughs> node uh, or where we would like to download the node installation file. to downloads from node and we're looking for the MCI installer so we're just gonna copy the link address and we're gonna paste it just like that next on a new line we're going to run start process And we're going to supply the following arguments. This is the path of the MCI um, that is going to be downloading. 
and then we're going to tell it to install it with parameter quiet and also no restart and no new window and wait so this is the change we have to the docker file for the cm we're going to save it then in our powershell we need to run the up script once again Okay, now that we have bought our containers and restarted them, we can first check if node is installed on our CM container. So let's go to Docker, find our CM container, and we're going to copy the ID to our clipboard. Then we're going to open a new PowerShell window and we're going to go into the container so we're going to type docker exec dash it then we're going to paste the container id and type powershell now we're using powershell within the cm container so we're going to type node dash v and there you go we have node installed Now, if we go in our view JSS app folder, let's try and run the JSS deploy app CD once again. Uh, we're still getting the unable to verify the first certificate. So we're going to do the same copy paste of the certificate thumbprint as we did before. And with that, and success. So the issue we had was mainly with node not being installed on the CM container. And then we also had to provide an accept certificate parameter to our deploy command. Great, so our JSS view app has been deployed successfully. And under content, we can see our new site. So we can just go into the experience editor to make sure everything is working. <coughs> 